send it right to official email exchange on your way, together with official signed Harry's Tour, your lunch tour, and all of your official Christmas presents to the Lions of Hope Church in Lincoln, Nebraska, and all of those who are listening to this. The graduation ceremony is today for the 12th on Friday. But my memory tells me correctly that today all my wishes were answered. I remember now fully well the day came. Feeling both relieved and surprised to see how many kids got together, sad that I had to bring my leg in order to keep them from dying, excited and nervous about the Christmas that was just around the corner. But years of being sad and preparing now to become a lover is not to be. Cohorts which battle and run despite unprecedented challenges. Students in universities all over the country, and indeed all around the world, have been hit hard by the disruptions to their education that the COVID-19 pandemic has caused. Your time with us was very different to what you'd imagined and expected. Your experience and well-being are always at the front of our decision-making, but especially over the course of the pandemic, we had to carefully consider and balance so many decisions around your teaching arrangements and your safety on campus. I know it was not easy for you. I know you had long days, periods of loneliness, difficult times, exacerbated by these global circumstances. COVID-19 has devastated and divided people and continues to do so. But it's shown the best of human spirit too. Our university prides itself on facing the problems of society, putting our hands up to say we can help. Our research seeks to answer important questions of the day. For example, our Institute of Irish Studies, the only one of its kind within Britain, researches the politics and history of the Northern Ireland conflict and its resolution. With recent high-profile work, including monitoring political changes and attitudes in Northern Ireland. Meanwhile, colleagues in both Irish studies and history seek to engage the public in their research, either through series of exhibitions and public events with high-profile speakers, or through plays about youth gangs in Victorian Manchester, storytelling and songwriting workshops with young people in El Salvador, and apps about fascism in Europe and the groundbreaking Liverpool woman who changed social and political history, to give just a few examples. The calibre and impact of our research in these areas has re recently been underlined by the findings of the latest Research Excellence Framework, which ranks and benchmarks the quality and quantity of research at universities across the country. This rated 100% of our research in impact in history as either outstanding or very considerable, and saw us rank eighth in the UK for research impact classified as outstanding in politics and international studies. I've no doubt that many of you, the graduates we're celebrating here today, will use the knowledge and skills that you've gained during your time with us to help to solve some of the most endemic problems individuals and communities face. And you sit here today perfectly equipped to do just that. Graduating from an internationally renowned Russell Group University is an important boost to your CV. Our Victoria building, the red brick building with the clock tower, has a plaque fixed to the wall which reads, for the advancement of learning and ennoblement of life. This is a motto that continues to guide us to this day in all that we do. Our courses are designed to equip you for the future and to meet the demands of employers, and our teaching is delivered by experts in their fields. That teaching is research connected, meaning that you've been provided with a thorough grounding in established methods and will also have been introduced to the innovative, cutting edge approaches used and written about by those doing the teaching. This places you in an enviable position in any job market across the globe, and equally puts you in excellent stead if you're continuing with your studies. Graduation is a day to look forward and feel excited about your aspirations and career or future pl study plans, but it's also a day to celebrate everything you've achieved and to enjoy this moment with your loved ones, 
with those you've studied alongside and those you've learned so much from. The pandemic has made us tr truly appreciate our loved ones and the experiences and memories we make together. I hope that today you'll find a moment to thank them for their support and personal sacrifice and to thank your teachers and lecturers who provided you with so much support and guidance on your path to graduation. And we hope too that the city of Liverpool will always have a special place in your heart. You may have chosen to stay here now and make the city your home. You may have already called it home before you joined us. Or you may have come back specially today for this celebration. Whatever your relationship with the city, we hope it's a place where you've made friends and memories which will last a lifetime. This city is all also in many ways a living museum connected to some of the most important and sometimes shameful moments of the past. From war, civil war and empire, to the migration of millions of Britons and Irish to the Americas, the enslavement and shipping of millions of Africans to the New World, and the growth of new forms of industry and commerce with Asia which transformed the, the Old World. When you walk around the campus and Liverpool City, echoes of the past are everywhere, from the Georgian architecture of Abercrombie Square to the musical, intellectual, artistic, sporting, commercial, and maritime legacies that have shaped this city. During your time with us, many of you will have made use of the city's rich cultural assets. Our history department has important connections with FACT, Liverpool Athenaeum, the Liverpool Medical Institute, National Museums Liverpool, to mention just a few. And those of you in Irish studies will have been able to access the extensive programme of events held at the Institute, with regular high calibre speakers, um, including the former Taoiseach of Ireland, Enda Kerry, the veteran BBC News correspondent, Orla Guerin, the late David Irvin, and the current Irish president, Michael D. Higgins. One thing we've all learned from the past two years is that we never know what the future holds. You're likely to see a lot of change in your chosen professional careers, but some things will remain constant. I'll flag up just three. First, the need to be a lifelong learner. For the rest of your career, make sure you commit to always being curious, always asking questions, always striving to do things better. And just as you should always be a learner, you should always be a teacher, passing on your skills and experiences to your colleagues and to the next generation of students. The second is the need to support one another as friends, as colleagues, and as professionals during your careers. And finally, never forget why you wanted to pursue your chosen academic discipline. It will take dedication, tenacity, and above all, talent, passion, and belief to pursue the careers that you've chosen or may yet to decide upon. But remember, these are all qualities you have displayed in abundance during your time at the University of Liverpool. Your most difficult of experiences will shape how you deal with challenges and setbacks in the future, as well as teaching you to grasp opportunities. All of this will help you to enjoy your work and succeed in your chosen career. Our university has a long successful history of graduates who go on to achieve great things. Our nine Nobel laureates have led the way in fields from nuclear disarmament to the life cycle of malarial parasites. And our alumni community is full of business, finance and human resource talent. You've now joined this talented international alumni community and you are and will always remain a fundamentally important part of the University of Liverpool family. Our alumni community supports students in many ways and some of you may have personally experienced this during your studies. They deliver lectures and workshops and run alumni networks, offer placements and mentor many students. We hope that like so many of our alumni, you'll stay in touch and help guide and support our future students 
and broaden their horizons through your experiences. It is through you that we are known, you are our greatest ambassadors, and through your achievements, you will also become role models and a source of inspiration for the next generation of students. This university has community and civic mission running throughout its rich history, and we're deeply committed to the city of Liverpool and to our role as an anchor institution. We make real economic, social, health, employment and cultural contributions to this great and unique city. We're also a university that takes immense pride in equality of opportunity and in delivering projects and activities which widen access for students who are traditionally underrepresented in higher education. Learners from low participation neighborhoods, care leavers, disabled students, estranged students, adult learners, asylum seeking and refugee students, and students from minority ethnic backgrounds. Knowledge should be celebrated, discussed and debated, and it should be accessible to all. It is through the discussion and dissemination of ideas and knowledge that society is shaped. Our aim is to inspire, engage and enable every single one of our students to fulfill their potential by raising their awareness, challenging barriers and providing opportunities. And nothing gives us greater pleasure than seeing those students graduate successfully and move on with their lives. You are the class of 2020, and through hard work, determination, and a strong support network, you've reached this point in your journey. Your capacity to think critically and challenge honestly, forged by your teaching staff, your classmates, and our community, will help you to prepare for whatever comes next. This is your well-earned opportunity to take a moment to consider just how far you've come. So, never forget how important you are to our university. You are our beating heart. Without you, the university would be nothing but classrooms and lecture halls. When we work together, the university is a place where discoveries are made, ideas formed, friendships forged, career paths decided on, and lives changed. It's when we work together as staff and students that education is truly transformational. We thank you for all that you've done in your time here, and we wish you every good luck and success in your future. Thank you. I now invite Professor Mark Towsey, Head of the Department of History, to present graduates from our class of 2020. Associate Pro Vice Chancellor, it gives me tremendous pleasure to present to you the following graduates from the class of 2020. Una Dillon. Connolly. <laughs> Jennifer Rutter. <laughs> Sophie Alice Morgan. Katie Paulin. Freya Bagley. Victoria Waterman. Hannah Kate Roskin. <laughs> Lee.
Leo Steele. Yvonne Turnbull. Charlotte Harsant. Tara Patricia Bezel. Alicia Yasmin Kelly. Louisa Brown. Anna Craig. Maximilian Radwan. Joseph Garner. Tom Agar. Matthew Wheeler. David Anthony Mills. Caitlin Dugdale. Henry Folks. Jake Edward Aaron Jackson. Aaron James Forsyth. Elizabeth Helen Joy Ball. Abigail Nosworthy. Savannah Lily Southern. Elizabeth Andrew. Emily Abercrombie. Elizabeth Wilkinson. <laughs> Ashley Lara Cohen. <laughs> Alan Young. <laughs> Eleanor Claire Levy. Isabel Martin. Anna Nicola Bramble. Sebastian Kai Harrison Carter. Colum Thomas Edwards. Michael Patrick O'Neill. Corinda Sahota. Thomas Donnelly. Louisa Rose Gerard. <laughs> Jessica Higgins. <laughs> Eleanor Bramlott. <laughs> Poppy Antonia Naps.
Abby Fox. Michael James Gill. William Neil Smith. Anna Rasheen Walsh. Jeanette Strickland. Emma Rose Sanderson. John Harrison David Barnes. James Baxter Westwood. Morgan Neagle. Catherine Williams. Charlotte Hudson. Zoe Lauren Guilford. Catherine Lauren Cuttle. Holly Elizabeth Sykes. John David Moffat. Karen Sheila Margaret McFarlane. Thomas Arthur Chisholm. Henry Oliver Lazenby Crawford. James Dowdle. Mareri Stewart. Sophia Henry. Felix van der Borg. Peter Arnold. Emma Kate Slack. Alice Wilde. Connor Millington. Isabel McDougall. Harnisha Bagat. Molly Torb. Charlotte Rowan. Alid Burt. Julia Morton. Lois Dean. Samuel Hancock. Ravimbo Patience Rosike. Nancy Davies.
George Jackson. Kelsey Jade Sherlock. Kieran Morgan Jones. Lewis David Baines. Jesse Buckland. George Baker. <laughs> Olivia Anna Margaret Gibson. <laughs> Holly Morris. <laughs> Kelsey Jo Salisbury. Cameron William George Clark. James Frud. Katie May Oakshot. James Swarbrick. James Kenton Craig. Toby Lawson. Lily Fox. Richard Cohen. Elizabeth MacDonald. <laughs> James Marshall. <laughs> John Patrick Cullen. <laughs> Megan Bowler. Emma Susanna McGee. <laughs> Theo Constantine Haji Giorgio. <laughs> William Russell. <laughs> Helen Manning. Nadia Barr. Grace Hall. Lindsay Catherine Corrin. Harriet Elspeth Pringle. Lawrence Joseph Carr. George Arthur Roger. John William Reynolds. Isabel Burke. Caitlin Stellman. <laughs> Kate Plowright. <laughs> Kate 
Jamie Campbell. Harriet Eve Esberger. <laughs> Megan Driver. <laughs> Polly Bowerman. <laughs> Josie Smith. Demi Melissa Leather. <laughs> Emma Phillips. <laughs> ben Reese. <laughs> Alyssa Eugenia Weston. Lucy Maud Johnson. Orla Brennan. Alice Megan Parker Wyatt. Alexander Dealey. Callum Marlow. <laughs> Rebecca Glenn Jones. <laughs> Benjamin Thomas Poulton. <laughs> Rebecca McKenzie. Ella Grace Perry. <laughs> Hannah Elizabeth Ford. <laughs> Eleanor Hartley. <laughs> Eve Marie Connolly. Ashani Patel. <laughs> Alexander Kent. <laughs> Cameron Challoner. <laughs> Joshua Stubbs. James Ball. Yay! Toby Charles Livesey Greenlees. <laughs> Georgina May Elizabeth Can. <laughs> Charlie Mercer. Thomas Edward Ammer. <laughs> Pablo Allen. <laughs> Edward John. <laughs> Thomas Park Jacks. <laughs> Thomas Jack Park. Alexander Stephen Hosker. <laughs> Heather Wiley. <laughs> Hannah Lawton Peak. <laughs> Finn McCallion. James Delu, <laughs> Lee
Layla Taylor. Caitlin O'Sullivan. Christian Ferdinand Grosner Whaley. Christy Marie Quinn. Olivia Alice Cook. George McCulley. Robert Willits. William Martin Scantlebury. Robert Tinker. Jake Andrew Matthew Lightfoot. Ava Lucia McGuffey. Lucy Bath. Alex Hurahan. Azizat Salintale. Jacob Anthony. Emily Charlotte Digby. <laughs> Chloe Lily Egan. <laughs> Kevin John McAvoy. <laughs> Ellis Owen Crozier Gittings. Samuel Wilkinson. <laughs> Hannah Marie Ruddock. <laughs> Catherine Wiley. <laughs> Hannah Victoria Lowry. Sean Morby. <laughs> Olamide Florence Adeoy. <laughs> Lily Perishin. <laughs> Melina Yalanki. Joseph B. Cole. <laughs> Kate Horgan. I would now like to invite Una Dylan Connolly to join us on stage to reflect on the student experience. Vice-Chancellor, distinguished guests, friends, family and fellow students. It is an honour to be able to stand in front of you all today and to be able to share my experiences of being a student at the University of Liverpool. I was asked three days ago if I would like to speak at the ceremony today and the first feeling that hit me was one of mild panic. But then I remembered, it may be two years ago now, but I know what it's like to write pieces of work at short notice, get it submitted in time, and still managed to achieve a reasonable result. So here we are. 
I'm nervous about speaking in front of so many people. It's definitely not something that I normally do. But then again, graduating is not an everyday experience either. I know some of you will have started and completed postgraduate studies. Many of us have begun our careers and are well on the way in pretending to be adults. But looking back at our undergraduate experience, I hope we can all see and pinpoint the moments that helped us to get here today. Looking back isn't something that I usually do, but I know a lot of you in here are Liverpool fans and enjoy the past even more than the average history student. <laughs> so today we'll indulge that. Choosing the University of Liverpool was a decision we all made. We could all stand here and share our own stories from open days and clearing and why we didn't want to go to Oxford anyway, but we all came here. In my story, I chose history, not because I wanted to be a teacher, but because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. Sometimes I'm still not, but I'm grateful for what Liverpool taught me. I grew more confident here, learnt what I found interesting and what I wanted from my degree. The diversity of all our studies and our modules and the fact that no one in here will have studied the exact same degree is great, I think. For me, intentionally or not, I ended up learning about some pretty random things. A whole semester spent reading about the medieval witchcraft was definitely not on my radar. But the history I was able to study about my own family and journey through the Irish Studies Department is uniquely valuable to me. I wrote my dissertation on a topic interesting to probably no one but myself, but I was given the space to explore what was important to me, and that's a boundary I hope to carry throughout my life. Away from the academic side of things, I know what I value most out of my university experience is the people. The friends I made on the very first day and the societies and clubs that I joined are what I think about when I remember uni. For the three years that I played netball here, we were the most successful campus team and it was the most fun I've ever had doing any sort of exercise. Probably because most matches were bookended by pint, but still it counts. <laughs> the History Society as well was a large part of my second and third year here. I was adamant when I was roped into being on the committee in second year that I didn't have time to do much and I wasn't going to be that helpful. A year later, in typical fashion, I was the president of the society and two years later, here I am. Our end of year balls were what our society was most known for and I can promise you that our 2021 would have been amazing. But we didn't get to have that like we thought we didn't, wouldn't get to have today. However, having finally made it, I wanted to take a quick moment to thank everyone to the university staff and to everyone who helped to organise today. To my friends who made university one of the highlights of my life and my family who always supported me and who pretended to find my dissertation interesting. I appreciate it. <laughs> I haven't been back to Liverpool for a while before today so I would also like to thank Vinicius Junior and Ilkay Gundogan for ensuring I didn't come back to quadruple merch and a 12-foot statue of Jordan Henderson. <laughs> Thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak today. Thank you for listening. And I wish everyone the brightest futures and all the happiness in the world. <laughs>
graduates and guests, congratulations.